Orlando City fans, 1-0 victory over Chicago Fire. And it, well, let's let's start with this. Chicago is not your older brother's Chicago Fire team where they're going to finish either dead last or second to last for the entire year. Having said all that, a win's a win, but my frustrations still continue to mount season in and season out. And it's the same things over and over again. The lack of scoring production. Brian Gutierrez picks up a cheap yellow card like in the 10th minute or something like that for Chicago by blocking a direct kick. It's the stupidest, easiest yellow card the referee can ever assign. Whether you agree with the call of the second yellow or not, he put himself in position for that. He put himself in position for that. So Gutierrez is sent off the pitch in the 43rd minute. So in theory, Orlando City has 47 minutes at a man advantage plus stoppage on both ends. What do they do? They get one goal. Kara, our, our transfer in from Austria, had a nice header in the back of the net. He also missed a wide open header that could have made it 2 0. But the shots just aren't there. And we had another opportunity to put a third one on, on that same sequence. We got cutesy wootsy and passed it all around and went backwards when our, when our left winger could have just crushed the attack. And I'm not saying he should have scored on the goal, but he would have put, put in a challenging attack on it when he was wide open. I don't understand the concept. We had 61% possession, and mostly because Chicago had a play on their back wall line because it was a 4-4-1 for most of the game because they had to rearrange their lineup. And when you're doing that, and you still only can get 61% possession, and not only that, something like only six shots on target, your offense is just wrong. Something is wrong with the offense. Maybe it's the entire offensive philosophy. Six shots on goal when you're playing up a man advantage and never even felt like a man advantage. Only once did it feel like that. And we screwed that opportunity up tenfold. It's 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 beyond frustrating. Orlando continues to win enough games to to I guess keep Perejas in as a head coach, but this is not going to get them into the playoffs. And if this somehow defaults them into a top seven position, they're going to exit stage left early and often in this. This is the Coach and Crew Show. I am your host, the coach, Charlie Krause. I'm not impressed with this win. I'll take it, but I'm not impressed by it. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments as well to how you think Orlando City did today. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.